Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, I'm very, very excited to be recording this review slash demo um, by the new collaboration by Sigma X Beauty Bird here on YouTube. Um, I did message her and DM'd her on Instagram to see if I could purchase this palette sooner than the launch date. Um, and she did reply, which was very surprised because I usually do um, send messages to YouTubers and I do send them emails to see if I could purchase the collection, if I could do a review, if I could be like one of the first ones to have it on YouTube. But they never replied to me like, but I was very surprised when uh, Yasmin Beauty Bird did actually reply to me uh, and told me that she was going to send me my palette for free because she wants to support my channel. I was like almost like shitting bricks. But anyways, um, I have the palette right here. Again, I did receive this palette for free by Sigma and a Beauty Bird. And this is the PR package, you guys. The white um, marble packaging. And when you open it, it's like a gorgeous picture of her. Can you guys freaking see this amazing picture? Like, this is freaking amazing. Like, so this is the palette. Um, as you guys can tell by my head, it is pretty like big. Um, I love big palettes. I'm not a really big fan of like smaller palettes just because I have ginormous hands. So like a big palette like this is freaking amazing. It does have a mirror, but I don't want to blind you guys with like my mess. So this is the palette. I did take off the brush because it falls. Um, and this is the brush. Um, it feels freaking amazing. I'm not usually a big fan of brushes that come in the palettes. Like the Anastasia ones are like, mm, they're okay. I'm not really into them. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to see this review, then just keep on watching. So as you guys could tell, I already have my whole face done. Um, I'm just going to be applying a little bit of powder under my eyes just um, in case the fallout because uh, I already have my base on it and I do not want to ruin it. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit of air spun under my eyes just to catch all uh, the fallout. If the palette has fallout, I'm not saying the palette does have fallout because obviously I have not tried the palette. But just in case because I do not want to go back and do my whole skin again. And I'm gonna be contouring. I'm gonna be defining my contour just a little bit. So the first shade that I'm gonna be going into the Sigma X Beauty Bird palette, I'm gonna be grabbing Caramelito, which is right here. It's just like a yellow, like a, it has like an orange yellow tint to it, which is really pretty. Okay, you guys, this freaking shadow freaking blended out amazingly. I love these yellow tone or orangey tones, yellow tones shadows as my transition because on my skin tone, they're more flattering. So now I'm going to be going back into the palette and now I'm going to be using the shade Boo Boo. Um, I'm just going to be dipping it in the crease area. So I'm going to be using the same Jacket and Hill brush. This is a JH30, I believe. Yes, same number so I'm gonna be grabbing that shade and blending it over that shade caramelito the brow bone because I do want caramelito to come out under the shade boo boo I don't want to like completely hide um, caramelito. So I'm going to be going into the shade Woof Woof. Um, this is a gorgeous shade. Um, to me, in the pan, it does look kind of cool tone. It doesn't look as warm, but um, it's fine. It's just going to darken my crease. So I'm going to be going into um, a Morphe M441 to apply this shade into my crease area. So now that I'm done uh, applying Woof Woof, I'm going to be cutting my crease. Um, I do want a little bit more depth on my crease, but we will be back to that. But right now, I want to concentrate in cutting my crease area. I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer and just a small little synthetic brush. Thank you. 
we're going to return to the palette and I'm going to put Puesta del Sol which is like a like a deep purple shade. I did want to use the purples because purples and reds and like blues and stuff like that are very 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 hard to create. I'm just going to be packing this and the outer part of my eye and I'm going to like create like kind of a wing. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously I'm going to apply something else to clean it up. And I'm just going to be grabbing a small flat brush by Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH4 T1. If you guys could tell, the shadow applied freaking amazing. Obviously, the eye doesn't look very like pretty right now, but it'll come together at the end of the video. So now we're gonna be going back into the palette, and I'm gonna be grabbing the shade Ambidestrous. Um, I hope that's the way you say it. It's just like a like a fuchsia, like a. So I'm just gonna be packing. Damn, this pink is pigmented. I wasn't expecting to be this pigmented. So I'm just going to be applying it to the center of my lid just to bring back that light. I do want to go back and grab Beauties, which is a shimmery pink. And I'm going to be using this to uh, go into my inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna be grabbing the shade Fearless, which is just like that gray black shade. It looks gray black, it's not like full black, it looks more like gray. Um, so I'm just gonna be putting that on the crease above. I'm not gonna be blending, I'm just gonna be stamping it into the crease. So now I'm gonna be grabbing that um, JH40, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny precision blending brush and blending those outer edges out, and that will give a little bit more definition to the crease. Sorry, my camera did cut off while I was filming this part, but I'm just applying the Tarte Eye Jewels Glitter Liner in the shade Silver just to define that uh, cut crease I have going there just because it did get lost during all the blending situation. So I'm so now to kind of make this um, Beauty Bird tutorial, I am going to be doing a fierce wing liner because she is known for a wing liner. She always is rocking a wing liner and it's always cutting a bitch. So first we're going to be applying Birdie, which is that blue shade in the palette. I'm going to be applying this as close as possible to my lower lash line. And I'm using a JH43 brush. My god, this blue shade is freaking amazing. So I'm going to be going back into the palette and grabbing the shade 805. Just to blend out that, that blue shade, just because it's turning green on me. So, um, and this is a olive green, so it's going to look pretty. Uh, and I'm going to be using the brush uh, J40 just to blend it out. Just to add a little bit more pop to the under eye area, I'm going to be using the shade Caramelito, which is just a yellow. So it's going to pop really nice with that blue and that uh, green shade. I'm going to be using Libra. Um, that it's in, it's, This is a highlighter, but I'm going to use it as my inner turtle highlighter as well. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. So I'm just going to be putting on some lashes and some mascara and I'll be right back. So guys, I am done with my eyes. You guys could tell I did add a little bit of jewels, Lerosky crystals to my eyes. Just because I have seen Naked Tours done this so many times and I wanted to do it myself. So now we're going to be stepping into the highlighters. Um, she has two highlighters in the palette, which is Gemini, which is more of a goldy tone and then she has Libra which is more of a champagne -y, like a lighter shade. I'm trying Gemini first. So now I'm going to be grabbing the same brush and apply Libra just because I want to be that extra bitch and apply Libra on top. Oh my god this highlighter is beautiful.
Oh my god. I think I'm overdoing it with the highlighter. So I'm now I'm just gonna be adding a lip liner. I'm gonna be using my Jordana Easy Lip Liner in the shade Coco Loco, which is just a brown. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Matte Lipstick in the shade Snuggle, which is a gorgeous, like a mauve pink shade. Uh, I'm going to be applying this uh, lip gloss uh, from Wet n Wild Hair Scope Collection in the shade Aquarius. Oh my god, guys. This palette blew my expectations. I um, actually did... Um, this was the first time trying the brand and obviously I did wanted to try um, Yasmin's collaboration with Sigma and I was blown away by this palette. I love this look I created. I did wanted to do uh, a typical cut crease just because I could add more colors in there. Um, and this, this freaking eye look came out freaking amazing. It's freaking gorgeous. I freaking love the pigmentation, the richness and the smoothness of the palette i'm sorry guys i totally forgot to use the brush that came in the palette um i totally forgot to use it but i will use it in other videos it does feel very soft i did use this one for the pink shade and it did apply the pink shade really 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 good um but i did not use the blending brush i'm sorry i did fork it but the palette performed amazingly these freaking shadows freaking amazing shadows these metallics are like to die for like can you guys see that pigmentation on that freaking shadow i am wanting i do wanted to do more a neutral shade um natural look on this palette just because this was very dramatic uh we all love a dramatic queen and i did want to do a dramatic look just because it does give me a possibility to use most of the shades and this palette does have a little bit of color and i love playing with color so um if you guys like this video Oh, by the way, I do totally recommend this palette. I tell you to buy this palette. This palette is worth every dollar. This palette is $49. I will leave the link down below. I believe it is sold out on SigmaBeauty.com. But they have other websites that it's available on. And I will leave those links down below. And if it's still sold out, I will leave the relaunch down there. Because this is a limited edition product. I don't know if they are going to be having a restock in it. But um, I did see Beauty Bird tweet that it is a limited edition product. Also, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, leave me comments down below on what videos I'd like to see next. Also, all the products used and mentioned in this video will be down in my description box. Also, all the products used on my face will be down there below as well. Just because I didn't do my face on camera, but I like to I like to let you guys know what I use on my face as well. Also, as on my social media will be down below if you guys like to follow me there. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.